Okay, so I'm going to start with an outside view. Sorry, I'm kind of close, but the driveway is kind of narrow here. So I'll do the out, the inside first, and then I'll come and do the outside. So we got the pull down steps. Got those out. And we'll step inside. And to the right over here is the living room, bedroom, multi-purpose room. The bed, um, or the, I'm sorry, the dinette will turn into a bed when you lower the table and rearrange the cushions. Um, get some shoe storage on this side, and then all of the cushions move aside. Move this out of the way here. And there are storage underneath. I'll lift the cushion, and you can see there are bins underneath for storage on each side, and there are are two on this side, two on the other side, and one across the back. The cushions turn into a, a king-size bed, um, but when you layer the whole piece down. So we've got the window curtains over here, um, and they'll close up at night. We have a bar at the bottom that'll keep them snug up against the windows. The uh, blue flame heater here and a television on this side. Up above we've got a fan for uh, ventilation there and then the, the center bar that holds all of the lights down the middle. All right now let's move into the kitchen. The vent up above, the stove and the oven. Underneath here we've got a push cabinet for storage underneath. Over on this next side is a, a trash can. There we go. Cabinet here that opens up. And we've got drawers along the side and cabinet storage underneath. On the other side of the kitchen, we've got a pantry that pulls out storage on the sides here, the refrigerator, open that up, okay, and then two cabinets on this side, we've got a large drawer child lock here to keep it closed and a large drawer and then a pull down section here for storage the top a small cabinet to hold bread things like that over on the top there are lift up cabinets for the pan for food storage and on this side we've got the all the command central, the radio, the monitors, um, solar chargers, all those things. All right. Now let's move into the center section. We've got a curtain here for, we can close that off. We've got two bunk beds here. Both the bunk beds have a light and an outlet, 12 volt on each side. So we get light underneath. We've got overhead storage on all three sides. I'm sorry, on all three cabinets here. Three that lift up. Underneath there are also cabinets that flip down. A lot of deep storage in there. So there's three of those. This small table here folds out or flips down. And then this part can move around to the back. So you have a little bit more room here. Or if somebody wants to work, the cabinet can be pulled back over. All right. And then we've got a light on this side, outlets. Underneath the, the seat here is um, access to the batteries. It's screwed down, but if you needed to do some work, you could undo these and, and pull that piece up. All right. Behind the, the beds is clothing storage. We've got three shelves on this side. 
Okay. And three shelves on this side. And the bottom we have access to the pieces underneath. Those so that can lift off here. You can see the water tank and reach over to the, the bathroom. Then we'll take a look at the, the light switches and uh, different fans all work on the push buttons here. Inside the shower, we've got a bathtub with a shower and a sink and then the toilet with the fan, the exhaust fan on this side and some storage on this side. So this is the view from this is the view from the bathroom door here. I'm going to close the bathroom door behind me so you can see what that looks like when it's closed. I usually leave it open for circulation, but for privacy you can close that door. And again there are fans up above and vents and the air conditioner. Let's take a look at the kitchen from this view. Got a nice deep sink. And on this side, food prep and storage area. And then we can go back to the initial dining area. There. On the entry side, there are two hatch accesses. This one is to the under the bunk bed part where you can reach the um, plumbing. Close that up. And then the other one is down here where you can access the water pump. Okay, on, on this side there are two hatches as well. One near the front and then one near the back here. This one gives you access to the inverter and the batteries. Everything's back up underneath here. And then I'm gonna go over here and take a look at the front one. It's a little tight here, so. And the other one up front has a storage space underneath behind the refrigerator and we've got the polish and extra parts underneath there. Sorry, it's kind of sun shining on us up against the house. The front's got um, battery, I mean, I'm sorry, propane storage tank covers. Um, a leveler and on the side down here you can see hopefully a little better the the entry side 